Let's talk a little about breaking the law. We're going to play that. Uh, I think really probably one of the most perfect, I'm not going to say metal songs, one of the most perfect rock songs ever. The riffs, it's just a quick bam, 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 mm. bam. You've got the anthemic line in there. Uh, give me a little bit of the, of the backstory about breaking the law. You know, we've never been a band to be kind of, like some bands have a, have a social political message in, in their music. <coughs> My job as a lyricist is to try and just be entertaining and, and throw a story out and make you think and you know just take you on a bit of a visual journey but um, there's no doubt that what Britain was going through at the time much like today unfortunately history repeats itself with the recession in the economy and people being upset as, as they have every right to be um, that kind of filters into you, into your subconscious as a, as a, as a lyricist and so when we were talking about breaking the law, it was just a reflection on the, where the UK was as we were transcending from 1979 to this brand new decade. The start of every decade is really exciting. If you look at what happened in metal in 1980, it's unbelievable. All the bands that came out with great releases and, and so forth. And it was the next phase of the growth of, of global metal around the world. Um, but, um, you know, you get this great riff and then you're thinking about you know the discourse and the pushback and people kind of being led to believe that this was going to be waiting for them if they worked hard at school or they you know they worked hard in any any format and I don't think anybody expects anything for free but there's a there's, there are some kind of built-in expectations and, and you know you don't break your promise to somebody so that, that was the kind of loose idea for breaking the law it wasn't an example of we're condoning you to break the law it wasn't an, an kind of anarchistic type of statement it was just a ref a, our reflection and perception is look we know what it feels like because we came from the same types of situations ourselves um, but then of course it, it just took on another life of its of its own like a lot of the great songs in rock and roll sure and breaking sure. the law still now, you know, when, when we fire up that song in Jersey, people are screaming their throats out, breaking <laughs> the law, you know. Yep. It's a brilliant statement, it says so much. Yeah. That one little three minute song says so much and means so much to everybody. It's that real spirit of, the real yeah, spirit of rock totally. and roll. And rock and roll uh -huh. Let's do it as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of British Steel on the Rock of New Jersey. Live with Rob Halford in Studio D 105.5 WDHA.